Hello and welcome to this week's Before You Buy. We are going to be taking a look at AMT's 1964 Convertible Customizing Kit, which is the Oldsmobile F85 Cutlass. This is a 3-in-1 kit. Kit number is 1200-12. This is a skill level tool. There's approximately 125 parts, but this is a 3-in-1, so not all those parts will get used because it can be done as a stock custom or racing version let's take a look at the box uh, this is the the first release since the original release in 1964 so it's great to see a comeback for this kit in addition to this kit they brought back the hard top as well and we can be taking a look at that again in another episode here's a look around the box and here's a sticker from the wrapper take a look at that it's got the Retro Deluxe features, which is retooled body and bumpers, all original parts restored, expanded decal sheets, retooled clear parts, and pad printed tires. Let's take a look inside. And inside, start off with uh, some of the new chrome. And our clears. We got the convertible top or the convertible body with a a brace for the windshield frame, so that's awesome to see. Try to prevent any squishing of that. Another bag of parts. And a bag of parts. Got some tires, screws, axle. Got our instructions and some decals. I'm going to get these cut open and we'll be right back. Okay, now that I've got everything unbagged, I'll kind of jump back to the box and what I had kind of made a comment about the hard top, just to kind of let you think about it, that the hard top is likely to have a lot of the similar parts, same tooling, but just in a hard top version. Just wanted to throw that out there. So you can think about that as well. This one is labeled the 442, or the other one's just a cutlass. But all right, now we get that out of the way. Let's jump into oh, let's go decals first. And here we have a lot of racing themed decals. A couple of license plates there. AMT, Krager, Auto World, a couple of big door numbers, our full uh, a dash panel, lots of different racing type callouts. I got some red, white, and blue stripe there. That is cool. After that, we'll jump to some of the clears. We have uh, our windshield. We have uh, another windshield for the racer. Here we have some, I believe this is a, a grill panel or taillight panel. As well as some other headlights and taillights. And we have two pairs of reds. Again, three in one, so there's multiple options here. Depending on which version you want to go with, will dictate how many parts and everything you're going to be using. And we got tires, we got some pad printed white walls, as well as the other side is a gold lettered Firestone Supreme. Pretty good looking tire, straight rib tread. There is four of those, all the same. No other options. So. Go on to chromes here. We got a big old chrome pack here. We got a tail panel. One set of wheels. Knockoffs. I believe this is part of the, the blower assembly. Some bumperettes. Must be some rocker trim. 
some knockoffs. There's our front grill, bumper, wheel covers with the Oldsmobile logo, Oldsmobile lettering there for that tail panel. A few other accessory parts there. And another bumper there. Different, give you a couple of options there as far as the, the grill and bumper. Chrome looks really nice on these. I'm gonna jump over the good part. We got the body here, the convertible body. Does have some cutlass script there. Just focus the door handles. Again, this is from uh, tooling from '64, so it is a kind of an all-in-one chassis, screw bottom style. So you're aware of that, and uh, a mostly molded tub not the greatest detail but again this is 1964 tooling only way to get one of these a bodies here we got some uh, wheel parts good looking underneath hood and that is the stock hood it's an Oldsmobile script across the front Prominent hood trim. We got a set of factory style bucket seats and a pair of racing seats. Both options look pretty nice. We got our convertible boot. There's our dash. You can see the speedometer. Some detail there, steering wheel, kind of a smoothed out bumper, we got a pair of disc brakes and calipers, custom steering wheel, another smooth pan, and another, I think this is a roll bar for the race, race version. Speaking of the race version, we have a custom hood there with a big Power bulge, some louvers, this is a tonneau cover, driver's seat compartment there, it does have some rivet detail, some buttons and snaps all the way around it, get a good look at that, as well as the hood pins on the hood, and here we have some side pipes, Firewall, seat belt work, fire extinguisher, uh, gauge pack, radiator, little AMT license plates, and the last tree here is our engine parts. Looks like we've got stock manifolds and a header set. Got the Set of heads, valve covers, a battery, a belt for the dual blower setup on this, fan, intake, heads, oil pan, engine, there's our dual carb set offs, our regular air cleaner, and belt set. And that is it. There is our AMT 3-in-1 stock custom racing. There you can kind of see that racing setup again. Our decals. There's our dual Weber carb dual blower setup. Custom bumper, disc brakes, shifter steering wheel. Let y'all look at that. Tells you to 
paint it with candy gold interior with a satin white to match the box art which is kind of nice i will leave pictures of the instructions decals and parts at the end thanks for watching